This video from UWGB Libraries will provide you with an introduction to library resources for history research. To begin, we will show you where you can look for secondary sources for history research. First, we will show you how to find books. To find books through our library, you will need to use Search at UW, which is the main green search box on the library homepage. I'm going to do a search for Russian Gulag and Memory. Once you select a book you're interested in viewing, it helps to look at the details section where you can sometimes find a description of the book and a table of contents. Oftentimes with academic books, you only need a chapter or two from the book. You don't need to read the whole thing, which is okay. While historians publish research articles as well, they tend to publish their research in books more often than other disciplines like the sciences. If you ignore books while researching, you could be missing out on really good information. Under the Get It section, you will find the call number and location for the book. If you have questions about this, utilize the Research Help Chat. For more information on books, including requesting books from another library and accessing ebooks, see our video on Finding Books in Search at UW. You can also use Search at UW to locate articles by limiting to articles under Resource Type. You have the option to add a peer-reviewed limiter if having a peer-reviewed source is a requirement for your assignment. See our video on scholarly sources and peer-reviewed sources for more information. Search at UW searches across multiple databases at once, which is why it can be great to begin the research process. However, you may get results that are not history-related. That is why you should also search in specific history databases. A database is a collection of information. In our library databases, you will find different types of content such as newspapers, peer-reviewed articles, videos, ebooks, and more. Some databases will have only one type of content, such as streaming videos or newspapers, while most others will have a mix. To get to our specific subject databases, click on the Databases button on the library homepage. Once on this page, click on the All Subjects drop-down box. We have grouped together databases we recommend for specific fields of study. Navigate to the History list. This is a mix of primary and secondary sources. At the top of the list, you will see a yellow box with our best bets, which will be our most popular history databases. As you try to decide on what database to use, it's really important to make sure you read the full description of the database. The description will tell you what kind of information you can expect to find, including the topic, source type, and time period. For example, you would not want to look for research on ancient Greece in a database that only covered colonial American history. This is especially important when looking for primary sources. History research tends to be multidisciplinary, so you might find yourself needing to explore some of the other database lists. Your topic might have a women and gender studies or environmental focus. You could try looking at those database lists as well for your research. Next, we'll talk about using databases for primary source research. If you navigate back to the All Subjects drop-down box, we also have a list of databases we recommend specifically for doing primary source research. When using primary sources, especially in newspaper databases, it's important to think about the language the people were using at the time of the event. For example, during the Civil War, it was often referred to as the War of the Rebellion. Notice how when I changed my search term from Civil War to War of the Rebellion, I had a lot more results from the Civil War time period. Utilizing the publication date limiters in the databases will save you a lot of time as well when searching for primary sources. Once you find a source you want to view, look for the PDF or HTML full text option. Not all of the databases will look the same or operate the same, so it might be in a different place depending on the database you're using. If instead you see something that says, Find it at UW Green Bay, click on that. You will be brought into Search at UW where you will find a link to access the article in another database. Otherwise, you might get a message under View It that says no full text available. This just means we don't have immediate access to the article, but we can request the item for you from another library. Requests typically take one to three business days. This is a free service for you. All you need to do is click on the We Can Get It To You For Free link and follow the instructions. For more detailed instructions on placing the request and using databases, watch our Introduction to Databases video or ask a librarian for help. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any further questions about using library resources for history research, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page.